Hi there, my name is Alana, and today I'm so excited to be doing an old fashioned what's in my bag. Now, this is a little bit of a professional twist on a what's in my bag because today I'm sharing with you what's in my work tote. So, really quick, hi there, my name is Alana, and I make videos here on YouTube about high end and luxury makeup and handbags. And what I think is really, really important is in addition to doing that, which is my hobby, it's my passion, it's my love to do, I also have a full-time job, which I also love and I'm very passionate about, but I have a full-time job in a corporate office environment. And while I do love a cute little handbag for grocery shopping or seeing friends, the reality is that Monday to Friday, well, thanks to the pandemic, I don't go to the office every day, but more often than not, that's just not even true, I stay home most days. The reality is that every week, for one or two days a week, I'm either downtown or I'm in the office, which means I need a work tote. This work tote is relatively new to me and I am obsessed with it. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown of the bag I'm using, what it costs, and then I'm gonna show you what I keep inside, how it all fits together, and you, you're also just gonna to get to see what's in my purse. And if you're nosy like me, then I think you're gonna enjoy it. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So my current work bag is this beautiful tote. This is the Beatrice tote bag from Lambert. Lambert is a Canadian uh, handbag and oops, handbag and other bag. <laughs> you always say handbag and leather goods company, but they're not leather. And that is, I think one of the things that really differentiates them. All of their bags are vegan. They're made with vegan leather. And this is the Beatrice in the beautiful, beautiful espresso color. It's also available in black and white. And it has this, this beautiful kind of, um, almost like a checkerboard weave. It's not a weave, it's not, I don't think. It's just this beautiful sort of checkerboard weave sort of print on it, which I think just really ups the classiness. Uh, a couple other things I love about the bag. It does have a top handle. But more importantly, it has a detachable and adjustable strap. So we're going to get a little closer in after I show you what's inside so you can see some of those details. Um, all I'm going to say in terms of a review, because this isn't really a review, all I'm going to say is that this bag is really, really comfortable. Earlier this week, I had lunch with a former colleague downtown, and then um, I had to walk around in my car, and I was, just, I was lugging this bag because I had some work video calls to make at coffee shops. And the strap is really thick. It's like a nylon strap. It's adjustable, but I was just kind of wearing it almost as tight as it goes just over my shoulder and it was so comfortable. And so if you have a job like mine where, um, you know, I, my job is kind of like a stakeholder relations type of role. So I'm constantly in and out of the office, lunch, coffee, meetings, just all over the place. So I'm constantly lugging things around and it didn't feel like lugging with this bag. So a couple of the things I just want to toss out there. This bag was sent to me. I do have an affiliate code with Lambert. It's Classy on the Run 15. So you do $15 off any Lambert purchase. Everything is going to be linked down below. Um, this video is not sponsored. I've had an affiliate link or code. I've had an affiliate code with Lambert for nearly a year. Uh, we started last about December or so. So anyways, put that out there. Put the disclaimers. Let me show you. Why do I keep my handbag? So I, no one's ever accused me of being a minimalist. So let's start, um, I'm just gonna kind of show you. There's how I've got everything packed in. So I'm just gonna take out what I have on the top. Um, this is from Leia, Leia, Leia Alexandra, uh, which is a jewelry company. They're based at the Shangri-La in Toronto and they do little, those little permanent kind of snap bracelets. Um, I am not brave enough to do a permanent bracelet, but they also offer them with clasps. So I did a little bracelet with my friend and this is just a little care package. When I tell you this is literally what is in my work bag, I mean, this is what's in my work bag. So when you open it up, now I've moved that, I'm gonna start with um, this big compartment here. So there is um, kind of a padded laptop compartment, which is great. My work computer is a Dell computer. So it's my work laptop and I just keep that neatly in the pouch and then I also keep a face mask um, just in case I need one maybe for a work thing or you know just it's just good to have one. No we're not all wearing them um, but it's good to have one on hand just in case. And then in the main compartment what's really cool about this bag is there's a um, kind of a dedicated place for a water bottle. So it fits my swell bottle perfectly. It would also fit 
a normal water bottle, you know, bottle of pop, bottle of juice, whatever. Um, it isn't going to go too much bigger than a standard water bottle. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes I bring my Yeti. If I'm bringing my Yeti, I just toss it in the bag. Um, then got my uh, Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Is this distracting with this here? Not really. So I have my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. And in my mini pochette, it's where I do keep a uh, tea bag, my transit pass, a whole bunch of lip products. How many have I gotten here? Like six lip products. Um, I also have my house mail tea. It's got like a catch all. And most importantly, I have my little tag to get into the office. Then I have my key pouch. I have a video about a whole bunch of ways you can use a key pouch. And actually I have a video about what fits inside the mini pochette. So I'm gonna leave both of those linked down below. And in here, I have my credit card, my debit card, license, all those kind of things. And then I have my Louis Vuitton six, uh, six ring key holder, six key holder, six ring key holder. And what's really cool, so I have my, my keys kind of in the front, just covering them up because I've heard that people can like, if they see a picture of your key, they can like turn it into a fake. But in the back, there's like a little slip here. And in that slip, Oh, I do have an old valley ticket. Um, this is my pass to get into the work parking lot. So I just leave it slipped right in the back of my key pouch. And that way I'm never fumbling for it. When I'm in the car, I just press this and I'm able to get into my work garage. So a couple more things in the bottom of the bag. We have my charger for my work computer. Very important. Um, I have a hairbrush. So if I ever need to touch up, especially if I have an event after work, then I have a small portable charger and cord, and um, I actually keep the charger for my portable charger in my car because most days I am driving to work. I can actually charge it in my car, which is fantastic. And this, look, I have a lot of bigger chargers. This one's really, really light. Um, I just grabbed it at a little store in your work. It's nothing special, but it's really, really lightweight. Um, and what I really just like about it, look, it's not gonna like change the world or save the world, you know, but if your phone is dead or just about to die, it just gives me a little boost of juice, especially if I'm out and running around and not always at my desk. So I like to have that as like a little emergency measure. And then this bag has three pouches along here. So I love the pouches for staying, let's let the setting, I love the pouches for staying organized. So in the first pouch, I keep my AirPods, which are very important to me. And just a scrunchie. I like I like just having a scrunchie. That way if, you know, I don't know, if my hair is starting to look kind of flat, I usually wear it down at work. Then I can just kind of toss it up in a ponytail and I've got the brush. So I'm able to just have a little flexibility with my hair. In the next one, a little excessive, but I do have two pairs of sunglasses. Um, this pair here um, is by Key um, Australia. So this is kind of my like, fashion sunglasses if I'm, you know, I don't know if they're that fashionable, but I think they're fashionable. So these are my fashion kind of cute sunglasses. And then these ones from Tom's are actually my favorite sunglasses for driving. So if I'm driving, especially on a bright sunny day, then I have my sunglasses. And then in the last pouch, I like to keep a granola bar. Uh, the number of times that I run out of um, the office, or office, run out of the house to go to work and haven't had breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, that's why I keep a granola bar in there. So I'm just going to fill my bag back up. So there we go. There's everything that I keep in my tote bag for work. Now, one thing I just, I can't stress enough is how much I love the fact that the strap is completely removable. So inside of the bag, there is a clip here and a clip up here. So it kind of, the strap sort of crosses over the bag. And it is adjustable, so you can make it longer. You could wear it crossbody. I find it's really heavy to wear crossbody, but it is so comfortable on the shoulder. And I love that it's detachable as well because often when um, when I'm going to a lunch, you know, like other professionals see your work bag. And I like that I can just tuck the straps in, you don't even notice, and it looks really just neat. I think it has a beautiful kind of square shape to it, and it just looks really, really neat. I love that the branding is minimal. One thing that's, I think, um, important to me at work, obviously, look, you've seen my Louis Vuitton um, small leather goods. If you're familiar with my channel, 
you know, I love, I love adjusting my hair on camera. <laughs> you know that I love luxury and designer handbags, but I think at the office, one, I don't want a luxury bag to be a bag that I'm schlepping around and, you know, just putting wear and tear on. But two, I think that when you work in a corporate environment, sometimes I think it can be a little too flashy to have a luxury bag coming into work every day. So I love that this is just, it's a good looking bag, but the branding is super, super minimal, super reasonable price point. This bag's only 149 Canadian dollars. And if you use my code, um, it brings it down to like 135. But you know, I think $134 is a really reasonable price to pay for a well-made handbag for work, um, especially from a Canadian designer. I'm just, I'm biased here in Canada. Anyways, I am really happy with this handbag. I got tons of compliments when I've worn it into the office and that is what I keep inside. So I'd love to hear from you guys. What are your essentials for keeping in your handbag? What do you like to have on you when you're going to the office? What makes your day easier? What are you looking for in a handbag? Um, especially a tote bag for work. What, what are you looking for that makes it into a great bag for you? I am really, really happy with this bag. I know I'll be using it all fall. I think it's, the brown is just such a beautiful, rich color for fall. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more sort of work-oriented content. I've gotten a request for that and definitely something I'm happy to explore and happy to share with you um, because who doesn't like to look pretty and polished for every day and specifically for those of us with full-time office jobs every day in the office. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye.